morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning and happy Sunday, saints. Good morning, good morning. So I am trying to um, to go live um, on our uh, Facebook at the same time as I am on our um, Zoom channel, all right? So let me, I just want to do a share with you. And hopefully you are seeing the same share that I am seeing. Um, and so I wanted to, um, usually I do this on fifth Sundays. Um, I wanted to uh, share a prophecy based upon the word that we see and based upon um, my prayer card. Um, so I made some um, prayer cards a few months ago based upon each of the books of the Bible um, and some angel cards. And uh, we haven't done this together in a while. Um, and I would have done it fifth Sunday, but fifth Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. And so I um, decided to switch it to today to Palm Sunday, all right? Um, and so we'll share a prophecy. I also will be sending out a video on um, eight scriptures that uh, we'll focus upon this week as part of the Holy Week prayer. Um, hopefully you will also be part of that and you will fast and pray. You might have a favorite scripture of those eight scriptures, or you might decide you want to pray over all of those scriptures. Um, that is between you and the Holy Spirit. Uh, but I touch and agree with the prayers that you create. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, I am Dr. Dane T. Jones, and I serve as apostle of the House That Dignity Built Ministries. And our um, ministry focuses upon the word. We focus upon the word. <laughs> we also focus upon helping those to find their purpose. So the word and your purpose, the word and your purpose. All right. So now let's move into our um, prophetic scripture for today. And what I like to do is I like to um, use a website called dailyverses.net and just allow it to find us a scripture for the day. Um, and I'm also going to pull up uh, Bible Hub. Because Bible Hub is very useful because what it will do is it will uh, show us what the chapter title is called for a scripture. All right, so let's just, I'm just going to click the verse and see where the Holy Spirit leads us um, through, by, through this app, right? Um, I don't think that this is accidental. I don't think it's never. <laughs> I think the Holy Spirit actually has the power to um, direct us to where the Spirit wants us to go. All right. So we have been led to Romans chapter 14, verse 5. Romans chapter 14, verse 5. And Romans means um, strength and it means power. And the theme of Romans is righteousness, right? So as we're looking at this scripture, keep that, keep those words in mind about strength and power and righteousness. And it reads, one person considers one day more sacred than another. Another considers every day alike. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind of how they consider days, the sacredness of different days. All right, so some key words for us to keep in mind here are obedience, wisdom, neighbor, and Sabbath, right? And so let's look for the name of this chapter where we can find Romans 14 and 5 to give us more of a clue as well, right? And so just going to scroll down to Romans. Okay, and we're looking for 
Romans 4 and 5. Almost there. Now we're trying to get to the fifth verse. All right. And so the name of the chapter where one can find that script is called Abraham Justified by Faith. Abraham Justified by Faith. I'm sorry, you all, that's that's not the scripture we looked up. Hold on one second. Romans 4 through 5. Let's go back. I'm sorry, that's because it's Romans 14 and 5. Okay. So let me get us to the right chapter. Okay, that's Romans 14. And then there's Romans 14 and 5. Thank you for your patience as I get us to the correct scripture here. So the title of that chapter is The Law of Liberty. The Law of Liberty. And as you can see here, here are some um, other scriptures to help give us some context of what's happening in this chapter so we can better understand the word. So in the section of the law of liberty, here are some other verses. Who are you to judge someone else's servant? To his own master, he stands or falls, and he will stand, for the Lord is able to make him stand. One person regards a certain day above the others, while someone else considers every day alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. He who observes a special day does so to the Lord. He who eats does so to the Lord, for he gives thanks to the Lord. And he who abstains does so to the Lord and gives thanks to the Lord. Amen. So as we are uh, praying um, over that scripture, what that says to me is, uh, especially since um, Rome was one of the first areas where right after um, Pentecost and Peter decided to accept his um, assignment from the Lord and serve as building the Christian church, they went to Rome. Well, in Rome, Rome the Romans had different um, uh, ways of showing their belief in God. And it was based upon some things from their past. Um, and so they were um, open. So they were open to this idea of let's blend our cultures to help us to still be present with the Lord, to be obedient to the Lord. Yes. Um, and so it, in this vein of reaching out to the Gentiles, to bring them into the church, to show love to them and teach them more about the Judeo-Christian ways. This is one of the ways that it was done. It was to let each person figure out each person's walk in the Lord. Uh, we all start at different places, but if the person is at least believing in the Lord, has accepted the Holy Trinity, as has um, repented for one's sins, has confessed one's sins, then maybe we shouldn't focus so much on just those differences, but we should focus on what is the same. And we all are loving on the Lord and we all are showing that we're grateful to the Lord. Yes, for what he has done and for what he is doing and for what he will do. And so that's what this scripture is about. Um, I also pulled some of my prayer cards um, to help me to um, see if we can add anything else to our prayer as we get ready to pray. Um, and one of them is the prayer card called uh, Numbers. It's from the book of Numbers. Um, and Numbers means numbering Israel and wilderness. 
And then uh, I also pulled the Book of Amos card, and it means to carry and injustice. Uh, thirdly, I have the card for the Book of Exodus, which means going out and redemption. And then lastly, I pulled the chapter card or the book card for Second Timothy, which means honoring God and committed. Um, and so we can use these cards also to help us with our prayer. Yes. All right. And so uh, let's begin our prayer for today. So Father God in heaven, uh, thank you for this uh, prophetic word. Uh, so it seems that you are showing us how to show more love, respect, more than tolerance from people, uh, for your people. Uh, so this, this prophecy and this prayer is about when we look at the cross, we're remembering the beauty of the vertical shape of the cross, which is our relationship to you. But we're also acknowledging the beauty of the horizontal direction of the cross, which is our love um, to our brothers and our sisters in Christ. Uh, so thank you so much for letting us know that someone needs us to pay attention to the obedience of, of charity and love and to be wise enough to know to extend that love to our neighbors as we try to come and grow eventually to one accord on what the Sabbath day should be and when it should be observed. Father God, some people will still observe the Sabbath on a Saturday. Father God, others will observe the Sabbath on a Sunday. But it's all right, Father God, for them to be able to do so because at least they've been redeemed. You have redeemed them, Father God, so they were able to come out of the wilderness, Father God. They were able to escape the wilderness before they were in exile from the wilderness, but they've come out of it. And they also know that you are carrying them now. That, that's what this prophecy is about. They're now being carried by you, carried away from the injustices of the world. Uh, the world is the place where Satan is the prince of the world. But yet your followers, your followers, the people who believe in you, Father God, you are taking them away from that injustice that he would want to put on them because he comes here to steal and to kill and to destroy. Ah, but you're a restorer. You're a restorer, Father God. And you also know how to construct from nothing with your word. That's what you're teaching us. You're teaching us to also use our words because when Jesus ascended to heaven and told us he would send down a comfort of the Holy Spirit, he told us that we would do even greater things than he did. So we have to know how to use our words. Our words also will fight against injustice, won't they, Father God? Yes, we are divine beings as well. And so that is why our words will have power. Our words have power as soon as we connect with one other believer. And that's why we're to make room for those believers, Father God, because there is power. There is power when you are in the midst. And whenever two or more of us are gathered together in your name, you are in the midst. And therefore, power will exude from us because it's the power from you, Father God. That's what this prophecy is today. We're not going to bicker over when people will praise you. We're not going to bicker over when they will be intimate in their worship with you. We're not going to bicker over when people will pray. We're just going to rejoice that they are doing it. We're going to rejoice that they are in a body, which is your body of Christ, and they are speaking your word, and you are the living word, and that's where we shall spend our time rejoicing. We are rejoicing because they are honoring God. And they are showing their commitment to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we offer up this prophetic word and prayer to you, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for being with me today uh, virtually. 
as we share this prophetic word on Palm Sunday. Again, I am Dr. Dainty Jones, Apostle of the House and Dignity Build Ministries. Blessings, blessings, blessings.